I'm CG, and I'm back! I'm so happy to see you here! Today, we'll be discussing a very interesting topic! Today, we'll be learning about place value! Let's jump right into it! Let's begin! Let's talk about places. You're in a place right now, and so am I. Now I changed my place, and I did it again! Wherever we are, we are always in a different place. Did you know digits have places too? It's true! Here we have two numbers, four and five. Let's put them together, and we have a different number. Now if they change places, they make an even bigger number. You see, that place matters. So now let's talk about place value. Let's go back to our numbers again. We have a single toy block here, and number one will best describe it. Now, let's take four. They stay here for number four. These single blocks are known as ones. Five blocks is five ones, and eight is, yep, you guessed it, eight ones. Ones is the place, eight is the value. It's easy, right? But for larger numbers, let's say two digits, it's not that easy to count one by one. But I'll show you a trick. Let's build a rod, 10 blocks high. We call a block tower like this, a rod. Rod, that's easy to remember, right? So, why do we need these rods? We can have our 20 blocks like this, or like this. Which group is easier to count, do you think? These loose ones, or the ones in the rods? <laughs> the rods, of course! All I have to do is count up to two, and here, up to 20. Each rod, remember, has 10 blocks. All you need to know is how to count by 10, but you learned it a year ago, right? Let's check this group. There are four blue rods on the top left-hand side. 10, 20, 30, 40. One more. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Counting these blocks one by one would take a lot of time. Let's check this one out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, Yep, 60 it is! If you know the times table, it's even faster and easier. 6 times 10 equals 60 blocks. So, we're counting by 10. Remember, we started counting by 1s. Now we're counting by 10s. Isn't that cool? So now we know two values, 1s, all single digit numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It's time to put them in a place. Ones always stay at the right of a number. Tens on the left from ones. Hundreds in a three digit number on the left of tens. Same numbers in different places make a big difference. Let's check the value of this number. It's easy, count with me. We have here two tens and one one. You got it, that's 21. The two stays in the place of tens and one stays in the place for ones. Let's break this one down. Five tens plus two equals 52. Two stays at the place further to the right, the place for ones. And five stays on the left of two, because this is the place reserved for tens. And the last one is seven for tens and six for ones. That's 76. See, now you know the place value of numbers and you're counting them super easily. Great job! Using ones and tens is a really, really good way to count things. 
but placing them into the right spot is super important. That's it for place value. Keep practicing. You'll be an expert in no time. Thanks for studying with me today. See you at the next subject.